What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I've been doing another Destiny 2 video and today guys I want to talk about Bungie absolutely pooping in the mouths of many of their community which I find astonishing to say the least. Before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. Okay so you guys will probably be aware I haven't played much Destiny over the past month or so. The direction the game's gone, although I wouldn't say it was a bad one. It just there isn't enough content there for me at the moment to pin me down and keep me interested. I will pick it back up probably in a few weeks and try and catch up. I did, however, jump on last week to play a couple games of PvP, my first in ages. And I jumped into a PvP where it was full of grenades, spamming and stupid one millisecond time to kill SMGs. PvP wasn't like I remembered. It, when playing, reminded me of PvP in its worst state ever. A time where many of the community was unhappy with it. People have told me this is the doing of the Rivery event, uh, which I do know and understand is finishing soon. Glad to be honest, I missed it. But even with this in mind, I'm seeing many people complaining about the state PvP is in. Ruled by pinnacle weapons, ruined by supers being either OP or underpowered, ruined by connections and matchmaking. Basically a giant mess. Now I don't know if these guys are new to PvP, but PvP has more or less always been a stupid mess. And this is something many of us veterans have just come to terms with. Destiny's PvP is just too much to balance. There is always going to be something people find something to complain about. Now with the grenade spamming aside, as this crazy event ends soon, PvP will go back to Lunas, Not Forgotten, Recluses and Dust Rocks. To be honest it was like this when I left. And I honestly didn't mind PvP the way it was then. I thought I had many ways of countering such people spamming out Lunas and Shotties. I really didn't have a problem with these weapons. Now like I said, I am seeing many people complaining about the way PvP is right now. People complaining about the fact we only see a few weapons and it's getting boring and stale. And guys you will know, the outcome and fix on Bungie's behalf is not to actually fix anything, but it's to further break PvP. And I say this knowing many people won't like what I'm going to say, probably the same people who call for nerfs. But Bungie stated in the TWAB last night that the Lunas Howl and Not Forgotten are receiving nerfs. They said and I quote, After the release of Destiny 2 Forsaken, two pinnacle weapons became available for players to earn in a competitive playlist in the Crucible. Each weapon has a unique quest requiring mastery of hand cannons to complete. There has been a lot of feedback on how the pinnacle crucible hand cannons stand above most other weapons in the sandbox. Today we're going to go through some balance changes planned for season of opulence. We wanted to start this conversation early to ensure players understood that change was coming. Even if they were still on the path of acquiring these rewards, here's the Destiny dev team to talk us through the planned changes. We wanted to give you a preview of some plans we have to balance Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten in Season of Opulence. After significant amounts of feedback, internal discussion and play testing, we've decided to adjust how these hand cannons work. For some players, these weapons can represent a significant investment of time and a personal improvement to acquire them. When tuning, we attempt to take into account the time commitment players make to acquire weapons and balance that against how the those weapons affect the different game modes. Magnificent how the unique perk on these weapons is too effective. It works in a neutral setting and rewards players for getting precision shots, something they would have done naturally. As a result, the time to kill of the game shifts to meet this new benchmark and players feel the majority of primary weapons in Destiny 2 cannot compete with these pinnacle weapons. Our current plan is to make the Lunas Howl and Not Forgotten the only 150 RPM precision hand cannons. They will maintain some aspects of their current behaviour while taking on the firing speed and damage of the 150 RPM hand cannons. Magnificent Howl will also be adjusted so that it increases the body shot damage resulting in a two headshot one body shot kill. Magnificent Howl will still give an advantage due to requiring less precision hits for optimal time to kill. Now upon reading that you might think it doesn't seem that bad but in my opinion they are being nerfed stupidly to a point in which we will get to in a minute. 
But all I want to say is congrats, Bungie. Congrats for building relationships with your community based on trust. Trust that after you made people grind their asses off for these weapons that you wouldn't nerf them. To a point where many, many folks who were just not good enough to get these weapons paid others due to feeling like they were being left behind basically being forced to do so. Something I do not agree on by the way, do not pay people to carry you or use your account to get said weapon. But I do understand why some hardcore players do so, they do not want to be left behind. I know many many people have offered me to, I mean I couldn't carry myself, never mind anybody else, but I've been offered money to carry people which is just absurd. So after many countless hours people have put into getting these weapons or paid others to get into these weapons, Bungie decide they're going to do everybody over and nerf them. This is something I do not agree on and it's something we as a community know isn't the answer. Yes it states these are the most used weapons and yes because they kill quick but nerfing them is not the answer Bungie. How have you not learned this already? The answer is to bring other weapons up to that balance. Nerfing weapons like these pinnacle hand cannons which are supposed to be better due to the amount of work it takes in getting them is not the answer. There are still other weapons in the game such as the recluse and a few others which are going to be left untouched which will still kill just as quick if not quicker. Nerfing a few of the most used weapons because your stats tell you everyone's using them will just make people shift to the remaining weapons that still kill as quick as ever meaning your stats again when you next read them will tell you a few other weapons are being used more than anything else and you will then nerf them weapons where if you were to buff other weapons, bring them up to par and try and equal out the playing field a more variety of weapons would be seen and used in your stats. So when you go back and check your stats after a couple of months you will see a showcase of a variety of weapons being used instead of people just shifting to the remaining fastest time to kill weapons. Them doing this and nerfing these pinnacle weapons I guarantee you guys in the coming months we'll see this whole process start again. Pinnacle weapons are supposed to be pinnacle weapons, the top of the chain, the best. The grind it takes to get them is unbelievable and I think people should be rewarded for that. And like I said, I am not the best PvP player but even I could counter someone using Not Forgotten. That's the whole point of PvP, you play it to get better, you play it to learn. Bungie seems like they just want to punish the hardcore fanbase and you lose trust from people when you make them work for something that's going to be great for a whole week and then you nerf it into the ground. Let me tell you guys, I don't even have the Not Forgotten. I just haven't got that kind of grind in me. I don't have the recluse either. I do have the Lunas Howl however and I don't even like it. I'm a noob at PvP. Someone less skilled in the mod than the majority. And even I can see that nerfing these weapons is not the fix. It has never been the fix. From day one days, Suicide Regime, Destiny 1, you nerf that weapon and alongside it all of auto rifles. And we just saw that archetype of weapon. Every archetype of auto rifles just sink. Nerfing weapons is not the answer especially when there's other weapons in the game that kill just as quick. You're just shifting the problem. I think that the people that are mad at Bungie for doing this rightly should be. This in my opinion is a mistake and not a fix. So what's actually happening to these two pinnacle weapons then? Well they are having their rate of fires reduced to 150 rounds per minute which is kind of a big reduce from 180. 150 round per minute hand cannons uh, in the game right now take 3 headshots to kill or 2 body shots and 2 headshots. The Magnificent Howl perk on the Not Forgotten and Lunas will allow this weapon to, if you hit 2 initial headshots, you can kill an enemy with a 3rd body shot, requiring 1 less shot. The Magnificent Howl perk now does not affect headshot damage. I mean the weapon will still have an advantage over other weapons, but nothing I don't see over standard perks like Kill Clip or Rampage offering. The pinnacle weapons, the lunars and the not forgotten have been reduced to in my opinion a point of them not really being that special at all. Which is a slap in the face in my opinion to everybody who grinded their asses off to get these. We know their tactics of trying to mend problems since the very beginning of Destiny 1 hasn't been right. Many folks blamed Activision for their actions, I guess we can't do that now. Now what I'd normally do from this point is try and reassure you guys that there is possibly good reasoning behind these actions from Bungie but I can't think of any on this matter and I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on this mess and as you know I don't hold back, no Fs are given from me. I mean probably Bungie think they are doing the right thing here and they're probably looking out for the majority but in my opinion this isn't the answer. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, give me your opinion on this down below in that comments section. Do you think the Lunar's Howl and Not Forgotten should be nerfed? Do you think these pinnacle weapons should well not even be pinnacle? 
let me know down below guys but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks as always for stopping by if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really does help out and hopefully people i will see you on that next one